What's up Sun Devils, Xander Ishling here from camp and we are so excited for week 2 of video announcements. So let's get right to it. Hey, hey you. Yeah you, the one with terrible grades. If you want to get your grades up before spring break, then you can attend tutoring next week. You don't want to have bad grades, do you? Of course you don't. Make sure to check the AVHS website or your email to see the full schedule. Congratulations to all AVHS students advancing to this year's Skills USA State competition. This year, we are fortunate enough to send 195 students to state. The competition will be April 21st to the 24th in Ontario. Yes, it is the same weekend as planned, but don't worry, we will get our students back in time no matter what. Here's some information on our sock drive. If you haven't noticed, our classes have been collecting socks for Skills USA. The socks must be new, unused, and packaged. The socks will be donated to the House of Ruth in Ontario, California, who is devoted to the prevention of domestic violence. Keep on bringing them in and don't forget, anyone can donate. Hello Sun Devils, we will be having a blood drive through Livestream on March 31st. We would love your help, especially during this national blood shortage. We will be doing appointment signups every day at lunch in Sun Devil Circle. If you are not sure if you qualify, visit lstream.org to find out more information. Let's help save some lives. Congratulations to the 70 mass kids moving forward into state for Skills USA and the 123 kids moving on to state in HOSA. We are so incredibly proud of you. The HOSA state competition will be March 24th through 26th and the Skills state competition will be in Ontario from March 21st to 24th. You guys are going to crush it. Do you sing in the shower? Can you hit those high notes? Try out for sensations on March 14th through the 18th. Mr. Sun Devil is coming up soon. Be on the lookout for more news on activities the week of. Here are our sporting events for this week. Here are Tyler and Ryan with some actual news stories happening in our world today. Hey Sun Devils, I'm your host Tyler. And I'm Ryan and we're here with this week's news segment. On March 13th, we will be losing an hour of sleep due to daylight savings. So maybe go to bed just a little bit early. Daylight savings, that means that spring is right around the corner. It's finally warming up, t-shirts and shorts weather. I know I'm excited for that. Continuing on the war in Ukraine, Russia has set off a series of bombs and the U.S. has still not engaged. Although the U.S. has still not engaged, President Biden released a statement earlier this week saying that Chief Keith has taken the matters into his own hands. Chief Keith and his 700 horsepower track hawk have just landed in Ukraine to help fight the war and defeat Russia. That's all we have today for you, Sun Devils, and we'll see you next time. The Nintendo Switch has been the best-selling console for over five years. This massive success was a serious threat to other console manufacturers. Recently, though, Valve announced their answer to the Switch with the Steam Deck. Their Switch-like design allows you to play any game available in the Steam library right in your hands. Windows also works on the Steam Deck, opening the door for infinite amount of possibilities for the users. Our must-see movies this month will now be presented to you. The first on our list is the highly anticipated movie, The Batman Movie, starring Robert Patterson and Zoe Kravitz, coming out on March 4th. Coming to Disney Plus on March 11th is Turning Red, starring Sandra Ho. Next month, we expect Lightyear coming out on June 17th and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness coming out on May 6th. It's time for our Teacher Dance of the Week for this week. It's going to be Mr. Hernandez doing the moonwalk. Up next is this week's TikTok of the Week. And now it's time for Mr. Zahn's Pun of the Week. Hey Marissa, What's up? did you hear about all the animals who broke like out at SeaWorld? No. It was really utter fun. chaos. <laughs> With St. Patrick's Day coming up, the only acceptable day to wear green on campus. Here is a special on Irish Heritage Month. This month we celebrate Irish American Heritage Month. Established by Congress under the presidency of George H.W. Bush, the first celebration of Irish American Heritage Month occurred in March of 1991. In his proclamation this year, Joe Biden has this to say. Irish Americans expanded the American middle class, building ladders of opportunity that future generations could climb. Along the way, Irish Americans contributed enormously to the American labor movement, achieving safe working conditions, advocating for children's rights, and fighting racism, prejudice, and income inequality. Notable Irish Americans include Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman and Irish American 
appointed to the Supreme Court, 35th President John F. Kennedy, the first Roman Catholic president, and even civil rights activist Martin Luther King Jr., who has ties to Ireland through his great-grandfather. Make sure to enjoy corned beef cabbage this St. Patrick's Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.